When one food bank's produce begins to spoil, they are keeping it out of the landfill and making it into lunch. This is the Borderlands Food Bank Warehouse. All these fruits and veggies are donated from distributors in the area. It's food they couldn't sell or has deformities but can still be eaten. Nevertheless, some of it spoils before it's given out. And as 9-year size Keaton Thomas explains, when that happens, the rest becomes a bovine buffet. Boxes of melons, green beans, tomatoes, and more. We've been rescuing fresh produce that otherwise would have gone to the landfill. Yolanda Soto is president of the Borderlands Food Bank, and they help distribute food from their warehouse here to 69 locations for low income residents across the state. But there's a drawback in dealing with fresh foods. We're working with perishable product, and you know that it's going to perish. We've already rescued it. This is an entire warehouse filled of this rescued produce, but when it gets too old because they can't use all of it. They don't just dump it in the landfill. They, bring, they put it all in this enormous dump truck and then it goes off to the ranch. This is that bovine buffet we're talking about. The food bank makes a handful of these drops to dozens of Santa Cruz County ranchers each day. These cattle then feast on a diet healthier than a lot of us humans. I'm told they especially love the squash. As soon as they hear the, the truck coming, they start gathering around and wanting to dig into the tomatoes and everything else. Gil Bustamante is a rancher. His cattle switch between hay and these deliveries and he says the cattle treat these piles of produce like dessert. Honestly, it looks like they enjoy the produce more than they like the hay, it seems like. Well, there's an economic component to this, too. The food bank currently cannot dump leftover produce in the Santa Cruz County landfill without paying, and that's been the case since last year. So they started giving it to more ranchers, and for those ranchers, it helps them keep food costs down, especially during the winter when the hay prices are the highest. Guy and Stella. Thanks, Keaton. We're told also that Aaron loves squash. <laughs> Is that true? I just love feeding at that bovine buffet, guys. <laughs> my, my weather center is a, a buffet line right here. <laughs>